Apple Music and Spotify are the kings of streaming services. Every single year they keep improving, so today we're gonna be comparing everything. The quality, discovery, design, features, and at the end, I'll tell you which one is my favorite. Now before we do anything, let me know in the comments right now, are you team Spotify or are you team Apple Music? In terms of quality, here's where Apple Music is way superior because Apple Music offers lossless and Dolby Atmos slash spatial audio. In Spotify, you listen, well, like we've always listened to it, left and right stereo sound, which, you know, sounds great as always, but Apple Music takes that to a whole new level with spatial audio, which is basically an experience that you just hear everything in 360. You hear sound here, you hear the drums here. There are some songs that aren't really well made in spatial audio, but then on the other hand, there are some tracks that are just, you basically are listening to a whole different song. Now, yes, you do need AirPods or a HomePod or maybe a Sonos Era 300, which is a speaker that, oh my gosh, I love so much. Because for me, spatial audio is currently what makes Apple Music so different right now, so unique. You hear music differently. Now, according to reports, Spotify is rumored to come out with spatial audio as well, but who knows when that will be. In terms of discovery, both of them are pretty great and Spotify is known for having better discovery than Apple Music. Spotify has something very unique, which you basically discover new music. Like if you were scrolling through TikTok, you basically listen to a couple seconds of a song in a music video and you just swipe down if you don't like it. And if you do like it, you can save it. I think that's so unique and I absolutely love that. Some playlists in Spotify are curated by humans, but most of them are curated by an algorithm that is extremely good. On the other hand, on Apple Music, every single one of their playlists are actually curated by a human working at Apple Music. So you can expect really good, really well curated playlists on Apple Music, which I honestly love as well. And not only that, Apple Music also has Apple Music Radio, which are basically three live radio stations that are always live 24 seven. And not only that, but the hosts of these shows are one Apple Music employees, which are amazing and they're really experts in the music industry. But then there's also artists running these radio stations, which is awesome. I mean, there's one of Elton John, one with Bruno Mars. So Bruno Mars will literally be giving you a live show of an hour and a half, him talking, him recommended you his favorite songs. I feel like that's so unique, bringing the artist to actually give out live radio stations. I feel like that's so unique. And I gotta give big props to the head of Apple Music, Zane Lowe. I feel like his interviews are the best um, live interviews out there in the music industry. The way that he interacts with artists and making them feel like home and making them not feel like awkward music industry diving deep and it's none of that. They feel so comfortable and the interviews that Zane Lowe does, I gotta say, is also what makes Apple Music so unique. Props to Spotify as well because Spotify has had collaborative playlists for the longest time. So you could basically grab a playlist and share it with your friend and you too could actually make a playlist together. This is something that we've been asking Apple Music um, listeners for the longest time and Apple is finally adding it, but it's taken such a long time for Apple to actually do this. Props to Spotify for that. Let's talk about the design in both platforms because it's something that a lot of people don't agree with each other. Apple Music is such a minimal looking, beautiful, stunning white or black UI that basically the protagonist of the UI are the album covers. It's boring, yet very minimal. And on the other hand, Spotify does something fun. Spotify does something different. It does something unique. It's always trying to innovate with the design of the app. Well, sometimes they mess up because they risk it a lot and sometimes they'll, they don't and they do some really unique things. So in terms of the design, I personally prefer Apple Music because I like a more minimal look and I like the artwork to just shine. And now with iOS 17, we also get full screen album covers, which looks stunning. But the design on Spotify, it's something that I personally love as well. I love how unique every single one of their UI changes are. It's just not boring. Like Apple Music is a little bit more boring, but it's a little bit more organized and easier to follow for me. But massive props to Spotify for always trying to be different. How I would describe both platforms in terms of design is basically Spotify is a more playlist oriented service. And I understand that because, you know, Spotify is the king of playlists with their amazing algorithm. And Apple Music, on the other hand, it's a more album artist oriented platform, which once again, since Apple Music, they're all curated playlists, since everybody's like a human working at Apple Music giving you content, you feel that. 
and they're very two very different one is very risky you know playing with the algorithms and then there's apple music on the other hand only doing curated um playlists and giving you the albums that you want to listen to they're very different they're very similar in some things but in terms of design you just feel like one is more album oriented and then spotify on the other hand is just more playlist oriented another thing that spotify has is mixing podcasts with music it's all one platform spotify does have podcasts now whether you like it or not a lot of apple fans are like no i want my podcast in the podcast app and i want my music in the music app it's something that i honestly respect but a lot of people like having everything in one so it depends what you like something else that spotify doesn't have is music videos i'm sure they will add it somewhat in the future but spotify currently does not have music videos which is kind of a big bummer on the other hand apple music does have music videos and they're currently doing apple music live which they are personally apple music is actually hosting live concerts and all of those concerts are going right into apple music which you can actually watch them live with apple music live something else that's kind of genius about apple music is apple music karaoke so you can actually remove the vocals of a song and turn on Apple Music Karaoke, and you can actually start singing a song without the vocal. So you can grab a bunch of your friends and family over for dinner, open up the Apple TV app, and just start singing karaoke on Apple Music. I find that's quite unique. Apple has also launched SharePlay inside of Apple CarPlay. So anybody in the car can actually put music all at once. So previously you would have to disconnect from the Bluetooth setting into your car. Mom, are you ready to connect? Okay, your mom finally connects, she plays a song. And then your sister's like, oh, I wanna play a song, give me your phone, or maybe you have to give her your phone. It's not a good experience. So what Apple has done is share play inside of cars. So everybody just scans the QR code and anybody can just put a song directly from your phone. Isn't that genius? Now, in terms of the music catalog, which service has more music? Apple Music has way much more catalog in terms of music, but Let's be honest, if you want to search up a song of, out of all the millions, chances are you'll find them in both platforms. So that gives us the question on which service is the best currently in 2023. For me, a couple years ago, it was kind of a tie, but currently in 2023, it's kind of obvious that Apple Music is way much more superior. Until Spotify announces Spatial Audio and Lossless Audio in their service, there's just a big difference because Spatial Audio is such a big deal and listening to them on your AirPods or HomePods, it's just such a big difference. But I wanna know what you think though. Which one's the best in 2023? I don't care which one you have. I wanna know which one you prefer. If you wanna know everything that's new and Apple Music in iOS 17, thank you for watching. Um, check this video out right here, or you can subscribe. And if you're a Spotify fan, you know, you can go cry. I'm sorry. I like Spotify as well. I actually really like it as well, but Apple Music is the king. Okay, bye.